Namaste, and welcome to our continuing series on homeopathy with our beloved Dr. Pachakavka. Today I wanted to ask you about something that comes up quite frequently, tennis elbow. Yes, yes. Tennis elbow is a very common terminology because mm-hmm. people who do not play tennis, they also would get they tennis get elbow. <laughs> it's a type of injury which occurs in the people who play lawn tennis. Mm-hmm. And generally this condition causes pain on the lateral side. We can call outer side or mm-hmm. lateral side mm-hmm. in the elbow. So, it's a typical uh, joint situation, joint pain situation where there may not be swelling at all. It can be just a a painful moment. But it can be very painful. It can be very painful because what happens there when we we are flexing Mm -hmm. the um, arm, flexing it and extending, both um, times it may get pain and it's really painful. Many times it has to be differentiated with spondylitis oh. because many times people get cervical spondylitis and this cervical spondylitis causing irritation in the nerves which are supplying the upper limb. The nerve. Only thing is in tennis elbow it is a localized pain in the elbow on the lateral side whereas if it is a pain in the forearm or the same area which is more linear vague and distributed all over the upper limb. It can be in the arm, it can be in the forearm, Mm. it can be even up to the tip of fingers. Mm. Whereas tennis elbow is locally around elbow. elbow. There is similar condition we call golfers, golfers elbow. Yes. That occurs only on the medial side, the inner side of the elbow, but they are very similar injuries. But they are because of repetitive use. Yes, yes. Mm. It is because of repetitive use, at the same time it can be because of the lack of muscle uh, elasticity, Ah, rigidity of muscles. Because sometimes people do a monotonous work Mm -hmm. and without having a proper exercise or preparation. So first thing we advise to these people is, in general, make your joints healthy by, by having good tone and lack of you know removing the rigidity and uh, the main reason is again vitamin d3 deficiency because oh. vitamin d3 deficiency leads to some sort of uh, what we call osteopenia mm-hmm. or lack of uh, tone and elasticity yes. in mm-hmm. the muscles and ligaments mm-hmm. and depending upon one's own use one starts getting tennis elbow and later on the other joints follow so we take it as an indicator and we make the person's whole musculoskeletal system more healthy by way of advising proper exercises, proper maintenance, at the same time sun bath for vitamin D3 and that really helps. Wonderful. Plus if we see that some persons, if they are not consuming enough of calcium, we advise the best in India would be buttermilk. So buttermilk gives ample of calcium, the sun bath gives vitamin D3 and this metabolism will be you know healthy plus guarded exercises. These things relieve tennis elbow like conditions very well. Wonderful. Thank you sir.